Good morning. I would like to talk to you about Indigenous Evaluation Framework and Tribal Evaluation Approaches. Along with our tribal partner, Urban Indian Health Institute, we highly value the Indigenous Evaluation Framework. We would like to share some evaluation core values with you next. People of a place. Looks to the fact that what occurs in one tribal community may not be easily transferable to other tribal communities. Recognizing our gifts looks to the strengths and a holistic approach to assess value, recognizing different communication styles, including ways of capturing stories. Centrality of the community and family is about engaging the community when planning and implementing evaluation. Personal tribal sovereignty seeks to respect tribally approved processes such as tribal IRBs and reporting findings from a non-deficit perspective and meaningful ways. In the next few slides, we will share some examples of the application of the Indigenous Evaluation Framework and Tribal Approach to Evaluation. The framework helped us to support grantees identifying and assessing activities valuable to their communities while meeting the priorities of the grant. People of the place. What are the project officers I work with would say, if you've seen a tribe, then you have seen one tribe, which really speaks to the fact that each tribal community is unique. One of GWIC's grantees in the Great Plains area, they are able to reach young adults through collaborating with their local tribal college by offering diabetes prevention education as college credit. Diabetes prevention and care programs are offered at their local community center. In order to achieve some of their focuses, they have been instrumental in getting tribal council approval for two policies that support diabetes programs in their community. One is the Wellness Administrative Leave for tribal government employees, which allows them 30 minutes per weekday to attend to wellness needs, including the attendance of DPP and DMSC classes. The second policy approval led to traffic safety, assisting community members to safely cross a heavy traffic street to attend diabetes programs at the community center. Respecting their program's relationship to the community, evaluation methods reflected the focus of the people of the community. Centrality of the community and family. Another tribal community in the Great Plains region has made a goal to increase participation in diabetes-related activities through community engagement. The program has offered cooking and physical activity classes to support diabetes efforts through collaborations with local partners. The evaluation is designed to allow the collection of information on efforts that sustain community health and wellness. Evaluation findings suggest that many of the activities are attended by women. Women are often seen as the pillars of the family. Healthy ways of living modeled by women can have a great impact on their families and thus the community. Recognizing our gifts. GWX grantee in the Southwest focuses on reducing heart disease and stroke and diabetes risk factors. Also included in the evaluation design is a desire to understand how cultural integration is used and measured in communities. This grantee's strength lies in the traditional foods efforts and their holistic approach to health. Their ways of telling the story is through the educational efforts to reignite interest in traditional foods through educational outreach across lifespan. The program is focused on seasonal educational excursions into the desert for the purpose of identifying foods and harvesting, assisting the tribe to flourish through understanding and honoring their traditional ways. Allowing the grantee to report on indicators that reflect the teaching of their language through developed educational material relating to harvesting activities is CDC's way of honoring and respecting their gifts and celebrating their strengths. For tribal members to connect to each other through their language and foster an increased recognition of knowing where they came from is an important part of their holistic health belief and disease causation belief. Being respectful of personal and tribal sovereignty is an important core value of the Indigenous Evaluation Framework. The program is geared to building capacity within tribal communities and organizations, 
capacities are built through training and technical systems, along with supporting employment opportunities. I would like to take a minute and introduce you to the Dignity Statue. She was gifted in 2016. She represents the pride and strength and durability of the native cultures in the Great Plain region. The lady is wrapped in a star quilt, which is very meaningful for Lakota and Dakota cultures. You see, when a baby is born, they are wrapped in a star quilt because they came down from the stars, so to speak. The statue overlooks the Missouri River Basin just outside of Chamberlain, South Dakota. Some examples of technical systems that honored personal and tribal sovereignty included a CDC-hosted Midpoint Grantee Meeting, which helped facilitate opportunities for specialized technical systems, peer learning, and networking between grantees. All presentation sessions were grantee-driven and spearheaded by grantees. This is a huge shift from traditional programs to partner-driven input. One of the sessions was the Photo Voice presentation, which focused on celebrating tribal community successes through images that reflected culturally meaningful successes. These were not measured through traditional evaluation methods. The Photo Voice presentation honored indigenous ways of knowing and celebrating successes through the gift of stories. Some of the Photo Voice images we will share with you at the end of the presentation. Out of the Midpoint Grantee Meeting, in particular the Photo Voice session, Urban Indian Health Institute developed the Story Map, which is on our next slide. The Urban Indian Health Institute is the cultural broker and liaison between CDC and grantees. CDC respects Urban Indian Health Institute's choice of reporting successes. Their interactive story map provides opportunities to present communities' GVIC successes through images and description of the success of the program application. For example, a community has reported their ability to increase traditional food education and activities that lead to an increase of settings in which they were able to build vegetable boxes to grow traditional foods. They also describe how the traditional educational piece will contribute to sustainability. Another community reported on policy systems and environmental changes and community involvement to promote physical activity, increased access to healthy traditional activities, including promoting canoeing on a river, which they refer to as our lifeline, which is a strength-based model for health promotion. We hope you join us in appreciating and valuing the Indigenous Evaluation Framework, a tribal approach to evaluation.